Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will see the construction of spherical wavefront and a plane wavefront. So let's start off first with the spherical wavefront. Suppose consider we have one source of light, and this source of light will emit light in all possible directions. So in this way, this source of light will emit light in all possible directions. Now, through this source of emission, we get the first wavefront. If you all don't know how we get the first emission, then uh, I will give the link in the description box. Please go and watch that video, and will, then you will get to know how we get the first this first wavefront. Okay. So in this way, we get the first wavefront. Over here. So now, according to Huygens' principle, every point on the wavefront acts as a secondary source of light and will emit light in all possible directions. So let's consider this point on the wavefront. So this point will emit light. In all possible directions, in form of a transverse wave. Same will happen with this point, and this point will also emit in all pos light in all possible directions, in the form of a transverse wave, acting as a secondary source of light. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do it as soon as possible because on the channel you'll be finding all the videos of 11th and 12th physics, chemistry, and as well as engineering videos. So, if you all subscribe to the channel, it will be good as you will get notified as soon as I upload the video. So now, these points on the wavefront will act as secondary source of light and will emit light in all possible directions. Over here. If you observe one thing is that the distance travelled by this wave d is nothing but equals to speed into time. Over here, speed is c divided by c, which is the speed of a light. Which and all these red color waves are travelling in the form of a speed of a light. So therefore, speed of all of them is same, and time is same for all of them, which is constant that we are considering. Therefore. The distance travelled by all of them will be equidistant from the center source of light. So now, if we join these points together, we get a circle over here. This circle, which we get. Is called as the secondary wavelet, and if we draw a tangent to this secondary wavelet, what we get is the secondary wave front. So over here, now we will draw a tangent to this secondary wavelet. And as we all know, according to Huygens' second principle, that is, all the ta common tangents when they join together, we get the secondary wavefront. So in this way, we can further on consider further on construct all the possible another second secondary or third tertiary wavefront and so on. So this is all about spherical wavefront, and now we will see. What is plane wavefront? So same procedure we have to do in the plane plane wavefront. Just the difference is that in the secondary wavefront, uh, so sorry, in the spherical wavefront, light was traveling from a source of light, and the wavefront which you are getting was in a curve shape. Now over here we will get get a plane wavefront as the light is traveling in a parallel direction to all the sources. So over here. Since the light source of light is kept at finite distance, we get parallel beams of light.
same way from this source of light we get one wave front so this is the first wave front which you get and this first wave front which you get is called as the primary wave front now a doubt comes to mind where to uh, consider the secondary wave front so for that according to hyjes principle every point on the primary wave front acts as a secondary as acts as a source of light and emits light in all possible directions so over here let's consider these three points so these three points will emit light in all possible directions in form of a transverse wave and and same as this one the distance traveled by all these waves red color waves will be same as they are traveling with the speed of a light and time which you are considering is constant for all of them and now if we connect all of them we get a circle as the radius of circle is same at all the points on the circle therefore we get a circle over here this circle which we get is nothing but known as the secondary wavelets and a tangent drawn to the secondary a common tangent drawn to the secondary wavelet gives rise to a secondary wave front so guys this was all about the construction of the plane wave front as well as the spherical wave front uh, if you have liked the video then do share with your friends and do subscribe to the channel and our next video will be on the reflection at a plane surface and we will derive the formula for the reflection of light thank you guys